So I would uh, talk some about Bacco and some of my uh, everyday tools. Uh, the pipe wrench, this type, was invented by Johan Petter Johansson in the 1880s. And like in the 1890s he invented uh, the adjustable wrench or maybe it's called crescent wrench. In Sweden we call it skiftnyckel. Or uh, I used to call them uh, the nut lathe because it's not the right tool for the job and you will ruin the nuts but it's uh, when you don't got time you, you just uh, grab grab one of one of these um, so it uh, this is a pretty new one maybe 70s 80s or something and uh, this is actually my grandfather's old one maybe from the 40s you can see the design hasn't changed that much. So uh, the small ones are called zero zeros. This is a uh, six inch, and I keep a couple of eight inch, the most handy size, I think. And uh, it goes up and up. Uh, this is maybe a pretty useful size, also eighteen inch. Uh, use that a lot. And uh, this is called uh, the old grandmother. It's a 30 inch bakko. Uh, let's see how big the jaws are. 85 plus something millimeter, and the height of the jaw is 35 plus. No, 35 exactly. Uh, yeah, and uh, these are uh, some of my uh, bit rare ones. This is uh, called shark fin or shark, shark tail. Not that useful, but it's a collector's item. You can see here, uh, produced for Volvo, maybe for the Eskilstuna or Göteborg plant, I don't know. So, um, Bakko, as I said, he, it was started by Johan Petter Johansson in the 1880s, I believe. And it was renamed Bakko in the 50s or 60s. And uh, another pretty big uh, Swedish uh, industrial company called Sandvik bought them in 1990s. And uh, I actually just looked up who is the owner now. And it's the American uh, tool manufacturer uh, called Snap-on. <laughs> 